Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number three of the Chelsea career mode. And we've got more gameplay in this one, of course. We played the first two pre-season friendlies in the previous episode, which again, I have to say thank you for the way that was received. Loads of views, loads of uh, likes as well. I said ask for 50. Um, I went out in the afternoon and by the time I got back, it was almost 60 so uh, I asked for 70 then in the comments and we've you've surpassed that as well we're at almost 75 almost 80 likes on Tuesday's video which is absolutely insane you guys are really really responding well to this series and I'll be honest I'm adoring FIFA 14 on next gen I really really am absolutely in love with this game right now so uh, let's jump into the action as you can see Diego Costa has just brought us back on level terms against Bayer Leverkusen tough opposition you might have thought for uh, for a pre-season friendly but we started a fairly strong side and now uh, Willian's actually going to nick the ball off a of defender here much like uh, much similar to uh, to the way Torres did in uh, in the game against Sosho a tidy finish across the goalkeeper into that bottom corner and uh, that put us 2-1 up. And this is a lovely ball from Diego Costa. Picked up a goal already, going to get an assist here. Fantastic finish from Ramirez as well, by the way. Really, really nice technique on that to keep it down and uh, kind of getting over the top of the ball to get it into that bottom corner. That was 3-1 and then we're going to round it off. Lovely ball through from Willian, through to Scherler. And now he's just going to, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous little dinked finish over the top of the goalkeeper. Messi-esque, you might say. And uh, Schurler, of course, signed from Leverkusen in the uh, in the pre-season, before the pre-season, if that makes sense. Of course, he came to Chelsea after last season, but before FIFA 14 season started, he was in the squad. So uh, he's going against his former club there, and uh, we'll take that. It's a really, really nice way to, uh, to end pre-season. And we're into the season proper, as uh, we're coming up towards the first game of the season against Hull. We're actually making our second signing of the series so far. Rafael Varane is going to come in from Real Madrid for £13 million. Really, really good signing. I'm extremely pleased with that. We're also offering a, a contract to Eloquim Mangala. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, Eloquim. I'm not sure. If uh, if there are any Portuguese speaking players, people or people in the uh, in the comments then let me know if uh, if I'm pronouncing that right or not but uh, anyway we are uh, we're looking to bring in another center back but one thing that's uh, that's come to mind or came to my mind whilst I was recording this episode is if we sign Rafael Varane we could maybe considering we got the bid from Mikel I could maybe move Mikel on and then do what Rafa Benitez did and push David Luiz from center back into a holding midfield role and then that would give us the extra space in, uh, in defence to bring in uh, you know Rafael Varane and he could start and really make uh, you know some decent progress as a professional and improving and he could play more games alongside Gary Cahill and then I can have Ramirez and David Luiz as holding midfielders with Essien and Frank Lampard as backup so I think that is what I'm going to do so we rejected the uh, the deal that was finalised for Mangala and we're going to push that to one side and I'm going to use Branislav Ivanovic as my backup centre back and then get in two if possible uh, wing backs to uh, to use as rotation for Azpilicueta or Dave and uh, Ashley Cole so uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that of course we do have Ryan Bertrand as well who's, who's as you can see is on the bench in this game against uh, against Hull but we're going to start off with uh, Diego Costa up top making his debut his competitive debut and Willian played well against uh, against Bayer Leverkusen so popped him in the starting lineup as well dropped Oscar to the bench and now uh, we came close there matter with the uh, with a follow up effort after Diego Costa popped the ball over the top and the keeper didn't really deal with it as well as he could have done but uh, Alan McGregor was in fact going to have a very very good game but uh, Petr Check made a couple of good saves himself, although the final save dropped to the feet of Rossinha. And after half an hour on the opening day of the season, newly promoted Hull City are 1 0 up away at Stamford Bridge. And I really needed to step my game up if we were going to get anything from this game. And uh, David Luiz pushing forward as you might like him to from that holding role, having a pop from the edge of the box. But uh, this time it was a comfortable save for Alan McGregor. And we're actually going to go in at half time 1 0 down. So all to do second half. And uh, I was a little bit nervous perhaps that uh, we weren't going to get a positive result because Hull were playing very, very well. Whenever I got within 50 yards of their goal, there was always 10 men behind the ball. So I was having a few shots from distance. You can see Costa was having a shot from distance again there. Drawing uh, another good save out of McGregor. Got it round the defender and then had the the, uh, the pop shot with the left foot. The corner drops out to Hazard and he kind of ran past the ball and then had to kind of pull it back from behind him. So couldn't quite get the power on the shot that was needed to uh, to cause the goalkeeper any sort of trouble whatsoever. But Hazard 
Hazard's going to be involved again here. Receives the ball through from Mata, and I'm going to cut inside. This ball was intended as a return ball to Mata, but it's actually played beautifully to Diego Costa. It's such a perfect pass from Eden Hazard inside two defenders to uh, to get the ball right to Diego Costa's feet, and he powers the ball past the goalkeeper, and we're back on level terms. So I made a change, brought in Andre Schürrle for his competitive debut, and uh, William was going off. Did well, but I was a little bit of an extra freshness with that still level of pace on the outside, and that Hazard is going to have a lovely shot that's unfortunately well saved again from Alan McGregor. As you can see, he's having a decent game. He's making saves, keeping hole in the game. But we're going to pick up a corner as we have another look at that Hazard effort. Really wraps his foot around it well, but it really is a top draw save from Alan McGregor. But there was going to be nothing he could do from the follow-up corner. Hazard again involved, taking the corner, whips the ball in. Up goes Diego Costa. I'm not really too sure what the defender was doing on the line. The way it came at him from the side, I think you'll see from the replay, I think he was worried about his arm hitting the ball and getting... Uh, you know, a penalty given and a straight red card, probably for deliberate handball on the line. So he tried to just nudge it with his hip and uh, just kind of ran forwards. And unfortunately for him, he did miss his arm, but it ended up going into the back of the net. And we take a 2-1 lead. We're in front for the first time of the game. And Hazard plays the ball round the corner to Aspi. Turns back inside, finds Diego Costa. First shot blocked, second shot. Tries to dink it like Scherler. It's blocked again, but uh, unfortunately for them, the, uh, the defender falls over the goalkeeper. And Costa's able to dive in with a diving header to pick up his third, a hat trick debut how good is that Diego Costa 23 million pounds we brought him in for and he has an instant impact scored on uh, his debut or his first team debut so we say in the preseason friendlies and has now scored a hat trick on his competitive debut absolutely superb and could not be happier with the way that Diego Costa is playing right now he's keeping Torres and Samuelato out of the team on merit on performance it's not just me thinking I've paid a lot of money I'll put him in the team he's warranting being there from uh, from his goals so uh, hopefully he can continue to do that for us so you can see we've got Aston Villa coming up next that will be in tomorrow's episode and then I think we've got Manchester United after that as well but uh, we're only going two games at a time at the minute because we're during a transfer window but once we get out of the transfer window we'll bump up to three games an episode so they are a little bit longer for you guys but thank you very much for watching please feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind you did enjoy maybe we can hit the 50 to 70 like mark again that would be absolutely wonderful if you guys could do that for me if uh, you aren't subscribed then feel free to do so and make sure you don't miss out on any next gen content coming to you on this channel there will be a link to do so in the description and an annotation on screen over the subscribe button and if you missed Tuesday's episode as you can see it's uh, a little snippet of it is playing there in the background there will be an annotation over that so you can click that and take that will take you to that particular episode but thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow.